Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel and happy Friday, at least that's what it is today. Don't know what day it is when you're watching this, um, but if it's Friday, happy Friday. <laughs> I thought that it would be fun, I just saw this video the other day um, where people challenge themselves to read 200 pages a day for a week. I am not going to commit to that, but I thought I would take that idea and I'll link the video that I saw in the description below. Um, but I'm going to take that idea and transfer it to this weekend. So I am going to challenge myself to read at least 100 pages every day this weekend. So Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, at least 100 pages. And I could push myself to do more, um, but I don't know what this weekend has in store for us. And I don't want to be stressed. But my goal is to read Doctor Shipped by Savannah Scott. Um, it is a little over 400 pages, and I'm a little... 100 pages about 100 pages into it so if I just read 100 pages a day I could finish that in three days but I don't plan on taking that long so again my goal is 100 pages I can read more than that but the other book that I want to read this weekend is Cruise Shipped also by Savannah Scott Ripped and Shipped comes out May 5th um and I want to be ready for that, so I want to finish and get caught up on the series. So Cruise Ship is the other one that I would like to get to this weekend. And this one is a little shorter than Doctor Ship. 369 pages. So these are the two books on my weekend TBR with my goal of reading 100 pages a day. So let's go. I have to work this morning. Um, but it's absolutely beautiful outside, so when I get home from work, I'm totally going to sit outside and start reading. Alright, see you soon! Welcome to my backyard. I don't film out here much because it's normally either too snowy or too hot, but it is absolutely glorious out today. It cooled down a bit. We have a nice breeze. So I'm just chilling out here with the dog. Um, it is a little after 4.30 and I'm just now getting to my reading for the day. I worked and then I met my dad for lunch. Then I came home and I took the dog for a walk. Um, and then came home after that and just kind of relaxed for a little bit because well it was it was a little bit of a hot one on the walk and i wanted to relax a little bit but now i am gearing up to get some reading done i've read about 30 pages of the hundred that i've challenged myself to do so yeah this is our little setup got a little outside blanket some water my book i think i'm going to take the dog in um he's getting a little warm and then i will come back out here and get some reading in super excited dr shift is so stinking good it is so hilarious it's so funny i have laughed so hard grant and jamie are just top notch so i'm really excited to read more of their story all right friends scoot in a little closer you're gonna hear my phone going off <laughs> um let's do a little update it is close to nine um just just finished uh dinner with my dad and my sister um i have been outside for i had been outside for hours just chilling enjoying the weather and just reading 
And even though I feel like I'm flying through this book, it took me a while to get a hundred pages, like a hundred more pages into this book. So I am 227 pages in. So I've officially read a hundred pages for the day because I did start this book at like 102 pages or something. But I cannot not know what happens in this story. So I have so many pages left, it's ridiculous. Um, a little less than 200 pages left, but I am about to get into my pajamas and curl up and I will probably stay up tonight until I finish this. Is it a wise decision? Probably not. Um, am I particularly known for making wise decisions when it comes to reading? I'm going to give you a resounding no. Um, so I will probably be finishing this this evening because I am obsessed with Grant and Jamie. <sighs> and let's have a little chat, shall we? I have hit or miss feelings about slow burns. I love them because they're a little more realistic, but I hate them as a romance fiction reader because I just want the romance, you know? <laughs> so we are over 200 pages in and we have not had a single kiss yet. And I'm not going to lie, it's been rough for me. <laughs> that makes me sound ridiculous. Um, but I just, it's hard for me with books that are over 400 pages. Like I've, I'm committing a lot of time to this book. And I know that there's a lot to the story and it makes sense. It totally makes sense to these characters that they haven't kissed. So I don't want anyone to like get any ideas that that's all I want in a book, which I mean. I'm not mad about it, but I want the books to stay true to the characters, and that is one thing about Savannah Scott, is that no matter what, the actions of the books and like the pacing and the timing of the books is always, always conducive to who the characters are, and I think that's really, really important, and I think it is just a sign of a very talented author, because every book is different because every character is different and it's just so good seriously please <sighs> read the series it is so good um i love it so yeah that's the little update um so i will be finishing this this evening and then i will be starting cruise ship tomorrow hands down because that book is all kissing. <laughs> I have had two slow burn books back to back and it's killing me. So I'm very excited for Cruise Shipped. It is, people either love it and it's like one of their favorite books or they're just like, it was good, I liked it, but I like other books in the series. So, I mean, I already have a feeling I know where I'm going to stand on this. Um, just because of what I know I like in books and I, ha I know Savannah and like I know we're writing so I know how I'm going to feel about it but I'm trying to keep my expectations on the lower side. Good luck. Um, because when I go into books with high expectations I am normally <clears throat> let down. So trying to chill out and just enjoy Grant and Jamie and Fiona while I am in their story and enjoy being in Bordox so that I can enjoy being out of Bordox on a cruise ship with Brooks and Gabriella tomorrow. So, yeah. All right. I have officially hit my goal for the day of reading 100 pages, but we're going to keep it going because my new goal is to finish this book. All right. Let's go. All right, friends. I'm getting ready to head to bed. It is a little before one, but... <laughs> I finished it. <laughs> okay, five out of five stars. It was delicious. It was yummy. It was just it was so good. Um, 
The slow burn was killing me for a while, but it was so worth it. Oh, Savannah is, is so stinking talented, and I absolutely loved Jamie and Grant and Fiona and Grant's dad. And of course, the girl gang, all the girls, the town of Bordox, and just... <laughs> I can't even begin to explain to you how much I love this series. Oh man, but so good. Though, I need to go to bed because I have to work in the morning and I will. But first I want to um, talk about something very sad. This book is large. Wow, I'm just struggling holding this up to my face. This book is large. It's over 400 pages. Um, and because of that, indie books are like, that hard material you know so there's slight like spine creasing I don't know if you can tell I don't have my glasses on but I can see it up close and it makes me so sad because I don't want a creased spine <laughs> but it's fine I guess you can't really tell and you won't be able to tell once it's on the shelf but like I can feel it and I know it's there I really just need to chill out and not be so neurotic about my books but here we are it will probably never end just so you know so next up will be cruise ship and then and then and then and then I really need to go to bed I'm getting like crazy antsy um but I got an email and my ARC copy of Desire or Defense by Leah Baruner. I'm so excited. That is the official book one in her like DC Eagles hockey series. I don't know what it's actually called yet. Um, I'll, I'll get that information for you. But this is the first full length novel to the series. I read Passion or Penalty in January and just ate that up so cruise ship is on the agenda for tomorrow and then Sunday I think I'm gonna try to read desire or defense cuz I'm so excited it's just a great weekend I love rom-coms they make me so happy so yeah okay I'm going to bed I will see you guys tomorrow it's gonna be a great day. It's supposed to be terrible weather. We're supposed to have pretty gross rain, I'm pretty sure. Though, I'm in Indiana. I'm in the Midwest. Yeah, I'll just take it a minute at a time. But I'm going to bed right now because I have to wake up early in the morning for work. So, okay. I'll be done now. I'll see you guys soon. Bye! Hey guys, happy Saturday. I just got back from work um it is a stunner outside and you can tell that we're probably gonna get storms at some point and i think that's on the forecast for tomorrow or like later this evening but right now it's kind of overcast but the sun is still there there's this gorgeous breeze the grass is green the trees are blooming and it's just gorgeous absolutely beautiful outside so i'm absolutely going to be taking um advantage I forgot the word advantage of that um it will be taking the dog for a walk soon We're probably gonna walk down to our dairy queen and sit outside for a bit eat some ice cream and then we'll head home but I will be starting cruise ship today and I know the point of this video is to read 100 pages a day um my goal now is to finish this book today and then finish desire or defense tomorrow by Leah Bruner but cruise ship is first up on the agenda and I'm so incredibly pumped can't wait can't wait to take you guys along with me and I can't wait to squeal about it afterwards because I'm so ah. it's a book by Savannah so it's gonna be good I've loved every single book in the series um and also I'm just pumped for it so yeah okay on to cruise ship and then on to our walk and then back to cruise ship gonna be so good hello friends I'm not 100% sure where I last checked in um, I think it was right after I got home from work so 
let's recap a lot has happened um i did go on a walk with my brother but it was not very long it started raining again if you like the weather in the midwest wait a few minutes it'll change if you don't like the weather in the midwest wait a few minutes it'll change um so we did walk for a little bit but then we came home and then what did i do oh i started some laundry i did get some of cruise shift red um and then we had dinner with my dad and my mom's been gone this weekend so she just came home so then we spent some time together and then i read some more of cruise shipped and then i did some more laundry and then i read a little bit more of cruise shipped and then i got on a facetime call with my friend Catherine, and we were on that call for hours <laughs> but it was amazing we had such a wonderful time oh she's one of my dearest friends and i'm so incredibly thankful for her i'm just really blessed with the friendships that i've been able to make because of books like the lord He's great. He's awesome. He really puts the people that you need in your life and I'm just really thankful. But then I know I said my goal was to finish cruise shift tonight and I got 187 pages into it. No, 188. We'll take that extra page. So I think I'm like a little at the halfway, maybe a little bit more than halfway. Um, and I'm enjoying it. It's a book by Savannah, so of course it's going to be good. Um, but I think I brought my expectations up just a little bit too high. Um, so while I'm enjoying it, it's not my favorite of the series so far. I think I was expecting something a little bit different. Um, and it's not bad in any way. But I just... I. I'm only halfway through. Things can change. So I'm really excited to finish it up and then squeal all about it because I know it's going to be, because again, it's written by Savannah and she has not written a book that I haven't loved. So I'm excited. I'm adoring Brooks. Oh, I just, I just love him so much. Gabriella struggling with her a little bit, not because, um, not because she's like really exuberant or anything like I I love her character traits I'm just having a hard time connecting with her because she just kind of seems like an outsider <laughs> only because I'm so used to the Bordeaux girls and like the family aspect of that and she just wasn't in really involved in any of the other books so and gotta take some time to like really warm up to her and how she kind of fits with the crew so it does that make sense if you've read the series i think it makes sense but if it doesn't i'm probably just kind of confusing you but it is delicious i'm enjoying it i'm very excited to finish it tomorrow and we will talk about it then so it's a little after midnight i'm gonna go get ready for bed i'm very tired but i had a wonderful day it was a pretty perfect saturday all right, I'll talk to you guys tomorrow. All right, guys, it is almost 9.30 on Sunday night, and I'm just now getting to my reading, but here we go. Goal is to try to finish this before I go to sleep tonight. We'll see. Getting on to say it is 11:45 um, on Sunday evening. I'm getting ready to get ready for bed and hit the hay. I have to work tomorrow. I did finish cruise ship. Ooh, messed up the top. Yikes. Um, I did finish cruise ship. I am not going to talk much about it here. I need to collect my thoughts um, and some feelings <laughs> that I have. Uh, I will say that it was not my favorite of the series. I am very much looking forward to Ripped and Shipped, which is Chris and Ella May's story. <laughs> um, 
and I am more than ready to be back in Vordox. But I loved, okay, I guess I am going to talk about it. I loved aspects of it. Um, I love that we were in a different culture. Um, you know, we had the Puerto Rican side and just the loud, fun, colorful, fiery, exuberant side. And it really showed up in Gabriella and in her family. And while I am not Puerto Rican, I come from a very loud, colorful, bright, crazy family. <laughs> so I totally um, just felt at home with those antics. Um, just welcoming everybody and that just it felt very reminiscent of how our family is so super easy for me to love Gabriella's family I love I love I love the people of Four Dogs um Mima, Esther and Mabel were just cracking me up I love that Mima and Bill got married on the cruise it was so sweet um and there were just a lot of things that I did enjoy about it. And there were a couple things that I just didn't really care for. Um, and I'm trying to get all those things into thoughts and feelings. Uh, I haven't rated the book on Goodreads. I don't know what I'm going to rate it yet. Um, yeah. I just gotta got to think through the things that I didn't really enjoy try to focus on the things that I did. Um, I love Savannah. I love her writing so much. It's such a good series. Um, but this one just felt different. So gonna work on all those thoughts and feelings while I wait for Ripped and Shipped to come out. It comes out May 5th and then I um, will be ordering the book from Savannah's site because I have the rest of the series signed and I have to get ripped and chip signed because well duh so yeah those are my plans anywho I officially did what I set out to do this weekend and I read 100 pages a day I read way more than that because I did in fact finish Doctor Shipped and Crew Shipped I'm so proud of myself I did not start Desire or Defense, but that is okay uh, because my main goal at the start of this weekend was to finish Dr. Shift and Cruise Shift, and I did it, and I'm so excited, and it was just the most fun, and I loved being around the people of Port Ox in any format, and I have just really loved this weekend, and now I just, oh, I need my copy of Ripped and Shipped, <laughs> I'm so excited, but yes. I am gonna wrap it up here tonight. I really enjoyed this challenge. I kind of want to do it again um, and break it out over the week to see if it's possible to really challenge myself to read 100 pages a day, especially with my crazy work week. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Um, but for now, it was a really fun weekend. I hope you guys had a wonderful weekend. Let me know if you got anything read this weekend, if you did anything fun. I would love to hear about it. How's the weather been where you are? Let's just chat it up. But I think that's it. Don't forget you can check out my blog at fiction.blogspot.com. You can check out my Instagram at fiction. All my other links are in the description box below. And please check out Savannah Scott. You won't regret it. Okay, I think that's it. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!